What is going on guys? Gene here and here are for you today um, another video. Um, it's been a while. Um, recently I started school again so I didn't have as much time to make videos as much as I wanted to. But with the new reveal of Verdant Conflict, uh, I am here to show you the set that we are losing once that new set comes out. Uh, we are losing Brigade of the Sky which is a very influential set when it first came out, bringing in new archetypes and also bringing in um, some favorite characters from side games other game Grand Blue Fantasy. And he start off with one of the main characters from Grand Blue Fantasy we're losing. We're losing Lyria, Azure Maiden. She was a very good card in mainly like Prince of Cassidus decks. She gets you your prince, but once you play Prince, she can also get the cards that you put in your deck, like Gluttonous Behemoth or the other the eight mana eight eight with ward that destroys almost everything on the board yeah she was just an amazing card plus she the first damage dealt to her is reduced to zero which is also insane because that means she can just play her most likely she won't die after one hit so you can just buff her up and then swing great with astros reckoning because you play her on nine and then you get astros you potentially get astros reckoning from prince of Cassidus. Put it to one and then Lyria swings for, because it's very hard to get rid of Lyria because you need to deal damage twice. But yeah, Lyria was just an amazing card. Uh, Legendary Fighter was played in a lot of decks as a cheap win con. Main decks like Haven because they have ways to get cheap amulets, cheap evils, and cheap spells. Yep. Just a fantastic card all around. Seraphic Blade was our was a main way of removal. Because it just got rid of anything cheap for free. And for enhanced six, it destroys basically anything you want. Uh, just the Legend was used mainly in uh, Forest to give all your cheap creatures Bane. Helps you trade up much more favorably. Which is a great card all around. And lastly, it was in Proto Bahamut. Um, wasn't really played as much. When it first came out, it was played a little bit in like the Dragoncraft decks. But recently, it hasn't been played at all. Maybe because they're just much better, um, bigger cards for Dragoncraft. And that's it for the more notable cards in neutral. Now off to Forest. We are losing a couple of cards here. Uh, first off, Fairy Refuge. Um, the only reason this is notable is because it is played in some of the Roach decks as a way of helping you survive and to counter um, opposing Roaches because Fairy's Yawn stops a... Uh, enemy follower from not attacking and then fairy's awakening stops your opponent's roaches from swing face but roach is not a very relevant deck at the moment but if it does this card would have been very helpful in those matchups uh, next we're losing matira peerless shot was used heavily when it first came out in the more mid-range style decks uh, helps you trade helps you draw just a good card all around uh, Korra, when she was buffed, she was played in, she was heavily played, but now that we're losing her, it's gonna be sad. Her fill helped you a lot with the ape, helped you clear the board, and also helped you um, uh, finish out the game because it also gives your creatures the ability to attack twice. So yeah, Korra was an amazing card. Uh, God of the Selwyn, just great removal, especially if you can play multiple cards in that turn the whole board which is a great card and skydiving horror when it first came on the mini expansion was used a lot but nowadays not used as much uh, next we're off the sword swords losing not that much but the cards are pretty impactful uh, first of all we're losing salsa or lucius mostly played as a one of just as a good removals uh, creature but also has synergy with Thom, you destroy a creature and also gain Storm, which is pretty good all around. Uh, we're losing Charlotta. When it first came out, it was great because it, we used to counter Spell Boost rune, rune decks or Dirt Rune decks. Because when you evolve her, all your followers have reduced damage from spells to zero. So they have no way to remove all your all your guys and they just swing face later that turn. Uh, next we're losing Dragonite. This card it was insane when it first came out. And because all five of the guys that you get, Vayne, Siegfried, Lancelot, and Percival, were all just very good. And especially if you got the enhanced 8 out, you just got two big bodies on the board. 
It was so good. Nowadays, this deck card is still seeing play, especially if you just turn five, play Vayne, Evo Vayne, and they get so much value because at the end of turn, he restores all basically all the health you get you use to trade. And he also gains attack. And also, if you need to clear out the uh, finish out the game, you can just Lancelot. And it's nice that the two best ones, which are, are Lancelot and Vayne, have um, abilities if they're together, which is what you usually do when you enhance eight. But if you ever really want to just control the board down, you usually go like Siegfried and Percival. So th this card is just very versatile, and it's just an, a very good card. Uh, next we have Zeta. Um, just a good card, control the board, and then gives you Beatrix, which helps you finish out the game. Just a very good card in general. And lastly, we have Latham, which is probably the biggest hit that Sword's going to take, because Latham was its main what is best win con sword had when Lathon first came out it was a very big problem because you had a bunch of one drops i could just swing face um all you just got one drops for free and it was just an insane card like when more sets later came down the line it just got even more broken because i think we still have floral fencer which is the one mana one one gold that enhances just gets gradually bigger and that's just a very big storm creature with a thumb and also later we got the pirate the now eight mana five five or eight mana four four that boss all your guys and this just get, makes a bunch more tokens to trigger off his invocation to bring up from the deck so this card is just insane now we'll see what um what Wincon Sword will now have with the later coming sets. I think Machina Swordcraft will still be a very big thing, but we shall see. Uh, Runecraft losing Grand Spire, just a good removal spell for Dirt Rune. Uh, Kagalostro, very solid uh, follower, a lot of value. Uh, free Evo on 8 gives you an Ars Magna. Just a very good card in general. Vesper, great for if you want to splash like a Dirt Room package. Because on Accelerate 2, it just deals 1 damage and brings out a Witch's Cauldron. Was solidly played when they do want to splash in the Dirt Room engine. But it was also very good in just Dirt Room in general. Because if you don't use it for the Accelerate 2, you can still use it for its Fanfare Earthrite. And its evil effect was just made it huge. Because a 4 mana 7-7 seven, seven is still insane. Uh, Fate 10 is huge that they're losing because every iteration of Rune plays Fate 10. Even Machina Rune he plays Fate 10. And most obviously Spellboost Rune plays Fate 10. But it was the main way for them to just draw a bunch of cards at once. Like Machina Rune can live without Fate 10, but Spellboost Rune has a harder time without Fate 10. Because they have just a lot of just single cycle cards, but Fate 10 just gives them an, a good zero mana plus one and fate 10 was just amazing uh despondent chimera was a decent uh, spell boost payoff not that pl not that play right now we still have the new golem card which is a nice spell boost payoff um or Lumaya, not really played as much but still saw some play here and there and miss miranda one of the better um mysteria payoffs i think now that this is getting rotated out mysteria has no chance or barely any chance at all in rotation so thank god uh next we have dragoncraft uh, dragon's not losing that much except poseidon poseidon and masamune was literally the best play that um dragon can do on turn 10 because you literally just get four bodies out. They all can't be damaged. They all gain rush. And then you just literally just clear your opponent's whole board. And still have two wards left over to protect yourself. Usually when you do that you feel like you have a. You just swung the game right back to your favor. And it's just an insane combo. And now you will not see any more rotation. When the, this set rotates out. Next we have True Dragon Skathacha. Uh, when she came out she was uh, used as a means to uh, ramp. But now there's a bunch more ways to ramp, but still, this uh, was a very nice card to do that with. 
uh, Warburger Dragoon was played a bit when it first came out. And a drama like mainly used with the 10 mana 10 10 was that had storm. If you play 10 non follower cards that match, I forgot his name at the current moment, but yeah, it was just an amazing card. Synergize as well, and Silver 3 draw 2 was also very good. And Zoe, one of people, some people's favorite card in Dragoncraft. Sad to see it leave, but it was one of my favorite cards when it first came out. But oh well. Next we have Shadowcraft. Um, first losing Gremory. Great way to close out the game. Swing the game to your favor. Um, Evo all your followers. Get a bunch more value out of them. Uh, next we losing Soul Conversion. Nice way to trigger last words. Free way to draw two cards. Uh, we're losing Lady Grey, which is probably the, I believe, the biggest hit the sh sh Shadow's getting. You know, because she was basically a staple in almost every uh, Shadow deck you played. Uh, she's just a 2 man 1-3 with Drain, which is insane. But on Evo, she also reanimates too, so you could just reanimate another version, another copy of her. You could reanimate, like, Denua. You could reanimate just any just vanilla 2-2. Or you just reanimate, like back in the day, you could reanimate Belenis and then also get a free ping if it dies. It just was just amazing value for just being a two drop. Uh, losing Denua, great against puppets. It's pretty much all she was used for. Also pretty good against the mirror match. Uh, Fairy, probably the best way to close out the game in uh, Shadowcraft because if you just have like one lonely minion, you just play this. Do the double birth, double burrow right, and then just attack three times that one guy. Main guy you're gonna swing with is like Mordecai, because Mordecai, if he swings three times, just is 21 right there and then. And Mordecai is leaving too, so not much to be said about that. Uh, Fran, great value three drop, was nice playing with her. Nowadays, she has lost favor for other decent three drops, but. She still is one of my more favorite three drops. Maybe because the cards she comes with are pretty good. Uh, Staging Warden was good. Because um, Shadow didn't have that many uh, just sort of random enemy follower effects. So with the now popular Ambush Sword. Um, target removal does not do anything to them. So Staging Warden helps a lot in those matchups. Because you just destroy Leon. Bye bye. Don't have to worry about it. And Plague City was very good against Zeus decks because they play Zeus, they get their fanfare, but then they go into a zombie and then it's all over from there because they just don't have a wing con anymore. A Bloodcraft, losing a couple cards here. Russell's Parish, uh, just Zero Mana Cycle, it's very good. Gooch and Succubus, use the Nagro versions of the deck. Uh, Alexander Demon. Just a good value card, helps you draw two or destroy an enemy follower with their amulets. Blazing Sapphire and Blazing Ruby. Vera was played when DFB was still a thing. When DFB rotated out, Vera saw literally no play because there was no reason to play her. Um, if there was new cards coming out that revolved around dealing damage to you, Vera would have been an amazing card in there. But as of right now, we don't even know what cards are coming out for the set. So, yep. Uh, next we're losing Narmaya, Ephemeral Blade, 4 mana, 4 3. It was pretty decent stats for how aggressive this card was. And on Evolve, it makes you go down to Vengeance, put you to 10 life, but also trying to be follower, which is very. just a very good card when it first came out. Nowadays, there's other cards like. Um, I forget his name, the 4 mana 3 3. It was Lucifer. But yeah, he does whatever she does, but much better. Because it also gives you the um, protection of you can only take a max 3 damage at a time. Uh, next, Evil Eye Demon. On Accelerate, it was basically a bloody claw, a razory claw. But instead of dealing 2, it dealt 1 instead to your face. And it only deals enemy follower. 
but it's still very good in controlling the board and on evolve you could just literally just clear the board which is pretty insane next we have Avon uh, father punishment was used in uh, lion decks but when lion rotated out it was not used as much since there was the only other deck that could be used in was any deck that played the bunny but they're just better one drops you could play with it same with prison swing you can't it was played when holy line was still in rotation but when rotated out just saw little to no play uh, petra only played with the bunny but now we have a new one drop that works much better so petra is fine leaving since we have a replacement for her but petra was still good because it protects sometimes the bunny from being attacked and then it just keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger uh, seal tome just a nice cheap way to cycle through cards lorena was a good value to drop uh, delafil is huge because it was one of the key ways to heal like every turn for alana and it was just a big ward because if you have Alana and then you play her and then you just heal once, it's a 6 mana 5 6 with ward, which is still pretty big. And if you evolve her, she's going to be a 6 mana 7 8 with a ward, which is huge. So, Delafell, glad that it's leaving. I just don't want to deal with Alana anymore. Uh, Temesis Purge, just a good removal spell for uh, Haven. Was used in some Alana decks. Not that much right now. Uh, Garuda was more in like some high roll decks that have to deal with um, his effect where your is destroyed, deal 3 damage to enemy leader. And Zeki Baba, more high roll decks. That's pretty much it. And lastly, we have Portal Craft. Um, I don't think Portal's losing that much. Uh, Par Paracelsus. Again, another two good value to drop. Not really played as much right now, but it's still. A very notable card that's leaving. Uh, Lococo was probably what I believe to be the biggest hit because Lococo was a staple in most Portal Craft decks. Just removes any creature by transforming it into a teddy bear, gives you puppets which can help trade later, and as well as you transforming the other creature into a teddy bear means that it doesn't trigger last words, you can't reanimate it back, and etc. etc. Uh, we're losing Kukuro was great with Silva. Um, Silva is also leaving, which is sad. She's not seeing as much play anymore, but she was great when she was. Uh, Nicholas is fine. Not seeing as much play anymore because it's a little too slow ever since his um, nerf, but it's all right. And lastly, we're losing Basilius, which is probably my most favorite card in this um, class for this set maybe because I loved using a lot when the meta was very aggressive because you have, they have a lot of small creatures and you just play Basilius on turn 6 Evo their whole board's gone and then you solve a 5-6 body the card was just nuts I, I'm fine with it not gaining any stats on evolve because even if you don't evolve it it's still 6 mana 5-6 which is still pretty good but it's still sad to see Basilius leave us and that's it for the cards we're taking out for Brigade of the Sky. Please tell me in the comments down below if there's anything I missed, any cards you mi will miss when it rotates out, or if there's any cards you wish will just get reprinted in the new set. Who knows? And that's it. See ya.